only the laptops with best battery life can crush the most premium machines no matter how stacked their specs are, because laptops are useless if they can't hold a charge. The Lenovo Duet Chromebook is the latest two-in-one -one laptop hybrid to hit the market, but where others lack software support or sacrifice portability by loading up on more heavy-duty hardware, the Duet manages to strike the perfect balance between functionality, portability, longevity, and affordability. While Chromebooks on average get about 10 hours of life on a fully charged battery, the Lenovo Duet lasted nearly an entire day of looped HD video. All that battery life gives you greater opportunity to take advantage of the Lenovo Duet's full access to the entire Android app ecosystem on top of all the other Google apps built into Chrome OS. This would already put the Duet well ahead of the competition, but it still has more to offer on the software front. Chromebooks now come with a downloadable beta version of a Linux virtual machine, so you can use an actual terminal interface and all the Linux software accessible through it. The Travelmate P6's main claim to fame is offering a 14-inch display and a chassis that weighs significantly less than the 3-pound limit we consider appropriate for a laptop to be called ultra-portable. The Travelmate P6 measures 0.65 by 12.8 by 9.1 inches and weighs 2.54 pounds. Those are admirable dimensions for a laptop with a 13-inch screen, let alone a 14-inch one. Our Travelmate P6 review unit comes equipped with a 10th generation Comet Lake Intel Core i5-10210U processor with 4 cores, a base clock speed of 1.6 GHz, and Intel UHD graphics. It also sports a 256GB solid-state drive and 8GB of memory. The laptop is clad in dark magnesium alloy, which Acer says is stronger and lighter than the more commonly used aluminum of the same thickness. Not only does the magnesium alloy keep the weight down, but it also helps the Travel Mate P6 pass mil-spec 810G and 810F certifications for durability, meaning it can survive light bumps and accidental drops. The Travel Mate P6's styling could best be described as bland. Sure, the magnesium alloy is handsome enough on the outside, but the busy, hard-to-read keyboard font and large display bezels seem stuck in the past. With the Galaxy Book Flex, Samsung brings its QLED display technology to portable PCs for the first time. Both screen sizes have a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Similar to OLED screens, which stormed the premium laptop market last year, QLED displays use familiar LCD panels and LED backlight arrays. The difference, Q, is short for quantum dots, Samsung's marketing term for nanoparticles that emit or alter light at different frequencies when exposed to electricity. This light tweaking can produce more precise color in a wider range than the LCDs illuminated by white LEDs can. Indeed, colors do appear brilliant on the Galaxy Book Flex, though I'm not sure how much of the excellent experience is attributable to the QLED technology and how much is thanks to high dynamic range, which many other laptops in this price range also support. Overall, my experience of testing the Galaxy Book Flex was more akin to using a laptop with a 4K screen. Only when editing text did I notice the ever so slightly fuzzy lines of text that are a staple of 1080p and lower resolutions. The QLED display also has an extraordinarily high rated maximum brightness of 600 nits. The highest brightness level we typically see on consumer laptops is 500 nits, and even that is easily viewable out of doors. The extra 100 nits has Samsung confident enough to market the Galaxy Book Flex as designed for outdoor viewing. A major contributor to the expert book's extreme lightweight is the material used for its chassis, a magnesium lithium alloy. It feels high quality to the touch, certainly better than plastic, but is much lighter than the typical metals used in most mainstream ultra portables. The whole chassis is painted an attractive navy blue with some sparkling metallic flecks, which adds a bit of style for a business laptop. While the expert book's weight may be the biggest physical bullet point, it's not the only aspect of the design that makes it extra portable. The whole laptop is quite compact and thin, even with its 14-inch screen. On size, the chassis rivals many ultra-portables with 13-inch panels. It measures 0.5 by 12.59 by 8.6 inches, easy to slip into any working space or bag with ease. There's a bit more about the design worth discussing than just the small size and material. It features a drop hinge called Ergo Lift, which we've seen on other ASUS laptops. It raises the keyboard at an angle as you pull the clamshell fully open. This creates a more comfortable typing angle, akin to a desktop keyboard, and gives the bottom vents a couple of inches of clearance for better cooling. 
The keys are comfortable to type on, with a pleasant amount of travel, and the angle does help. The hinge design also allows Asus to keep the visible bezels thinner, the bottom bezel isn't actually all that thin, but it's dropped beneath the keyboard and out of sight. The side borders are thin, while the top bezel is somewhere in between, just thick enough to house a webcam lens. The Asus Zephyrus G14 was the laptop AMD used when it showed the world its Ryzen 4000 processors for gaming laptops, and now we kind of see why. This is a relatively thin and light device that delivers performance and battery life that we've never seen before in this category. Both AMD and Asus knocked it out of the park. So, really, if you look at that high price tag in another context, Asus is positioning an AMD Ryzen 9 equipped laptop against Intel Core i7 systems that simply cannot compete. Sure, when it comes to design it's not quite as sexy as the MSI GS65 stealths of the world, but if you're after a gaming system that's both powerful and packed with battery life, you shouldn't be looking at an Intel system right now. Still, the Asus Zephyrus G14 is limited to an RTX 2060. The level of performance that the processor brings to the table leads us to wonder what a system with a more powerful GPU would be capable of, but at the end of the day, with a 1080p display it's more than enough to max out every single game on the market today, and then some. Considering the hardware on offer, the Asus Zephyrus G14 is thinner and lighter than you may expect. Coming in at just 0.7 inches thick and weighing just 3.53 pounds, this is extremely portable for a gaming laptop.